Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you two different looks for Coachella. I'm so sorry if you went to weekend one, I did not have this up on time. But if you're going to weekend two, uh, you're in luck. Or if you're going to any festival, this is not Coachella specific. Even though the second one does have Coachella lettering, you can leave the sunset background as is, or you can change the lettering if you want. But I love these looks. I first did the second one like three years ago, and it's one of my favorites. So I'm going to start by painting my nails white and that's just because the colors are going to pop a lot more with a white base than if they would on their own because I'm not going to use that much of the top colors. So having white underneath is going to help them pop without having to use too much polish on top of your base. Next I'm going to apply liquid latex. I'm going to use Simply Peel but you can use whatever you want. If you're allergic to latex you can use tape or Elmer's glue. Before I apply any polish over that I'm going to take some plastic wrap. I'm just going to cut it into pieces. They don't have to be any particular size. You just have to fit over your nail. Then I'm going to take my polishes. I chose pink, blue, and yellow. You can use whatever you want but I'm just going to apply them. Not too thick but not too thin either because you do want them to spread around the whole nail but you don't want to apply too thick of a coat of polish and immediately you're gonna take the plastic and you're gonna lightly dab it like that and then lift it up and kind of move it around kind of wherever you want those colors to be placed it's really just your own preference there's nothing that you have to put anywhere you just want to make sure that you're not doing this too many times because eventually the polish is going to dry and you're going to get some lifting like as you can see right here. If you do that, just go ahead and take your polish and reapply it and just kind of start dabbing over it lightly just to spread the color around. So I did clean up a little bit, but before I finish cleaning up, I'm gonna apply some top coat. The tie-dye should dry fairly quickly because yeah, you're blobbing a lot of polish on your nails, but you're also spreading it around and some of it does get left on the plastic. So it's not a very thick coat of polish. So you should be able to get it dry in just a few minutes and apply your top coat. Here is the finished look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this particular look. I think it's perfect for Coachella or just for spring in general with these really cool pastel colors. I really like showing you guys that you can achieve nail art really simply and really easily and you don't have to go to the salon to get nail art done. You can do it at home. I hope you guys enjoyed this nail look and now I will show you one that's a little more difficult but super cool. So now for the second design, I'm going to recreate definitely one of my most popular designs is this Coachella sunset background design. I'll show it to you. I first posted it I think three years ago. I don't even know if I posted a tutorial for this one but I really wanted to get one up for you guys because I think this is just the coolest design and I'm really proud of it. I'm gonna start by painting my nails with two coats of peach nail polish. Normally I would just do one coat of the base color since I'm gonna sponge the same color on top but this peach is a little sheer so I am gonna go ahead and apply a second coat before I start sponging. We're gonna do like a sunset type of vibe so I'm applying blue and peach and I'm kind of overlapping them just a little bit and then I'm just gonna go ahead and do a mixture of kind of rolling and then patting it like this. So I'm gonna start by rolling it and you get that but that's not what you want it to look like so I'm gonna roll it again. Each time I roll it I kind of try to overlap the two colors. I don't really want there to be a harsh line. So before I clean up, because I clearly have some cleaning up to do, I am going to apply some top coat because I'm going to paint over this with acrylic paint and so I want a nice smooth base. So now that the top coat is dry, I'm going to go in and start the Coachella lettering. I'm going to start by making kind of like a little valley looking thing, just kind of somewhere the letters can lay on just so it's not, you know, letters floating around in the air and I'm going to do that on all of the nails. It's not anything precise by any means. As you can see, I'm just running my brush back and forth. So the index finger is gonna have the C and the O, but it's not just going to be an O, it's actually going to be a Ferris wheel because that's kind of synonymous with Coachella. So when I first designed this look, that's kind of what I thought of. Like instead of just doing the O, why not make it into a Ferris wheel? The good part about the Coachella lettering is that it is a little messy. It's not very precise. So instead of like a perfect C, like a curve, you can kind of just 
go in a little sloppy and make it almost like that. Like that's honestly just fine. <laughs> like that's exactly what the lettering looks like to me. So I'm gonna draw the O for the Ferris wheel and I'm going to make it bigger than the C just cause it's a Ferris wheel, it's not just an O. So I'm gonna draw a circle first. So since it's a Ferris wheel, you wanna make sure that you kind of draw the inside where there's seats. So the middle has this circle, and then it's got lines just kind of connecting outward. So this part right here is supposed to resemble the seats on the Ferris wheel. I noticed that there's a little more thin lines in the middle of the Ferris wheel, so I'm just gonna draw a few more very, very thin lines. Now that I've drawn the Ferris wheel, the seat is a little small, so I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Then I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up. I do have some water on it just to make the paint a little easier to get off because I can kind of feel the top coat underneath not totally dry yet, so just to be safe, I am going to use some water. The middle finger is going to have an A, a C, and an H, so... I'm gonna try to lightly figure out where these are gonna go. So if the C is in the middle, then we can put the A, and then we can go ahead and put the H here. The ring finger is also a bit different. It has the E, L, L. But when I did this design, I thought it'd be cool to have the L's as palm trees. Okay, so for the palm trees, there's a little mound here that I added for them. And they're gonna be two, how far up? Okay, two kind of stems like this. For palm trees, you don't need to be too precise initially because you're going to add leaves. So I'm just kind of mapping them out. And then I'm going to take the brush with barely any paint and make those little feathery palm tree lines. So I'm just going to go ahead and repeat that on the rest of the branches. Now that the top is done, I'm going to just make the bottom kind of mold into that a little more. And then we just have the A on the little pinky. So I just drew a dot of where I want the A to end, just so I know it's the same height as the rest of the letters. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and add a top coat and come right back. And that is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I know this one's a little more difficult than the previous design. If you want, you can just stop at the gradient and have really cool sunset nails. But as you saw, the lettering was pretty messy and uneven. <laughs> Nothing was really that precise. So this could be a lot easier than you think it is. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys are going to Coachella, have an amazing time. I'm so super jealous. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.